Hey guys, Mopeblox here from Slayer Masters, who apparently have seen the movie Star Wars. To Jagex moderators committing deforestation, we count down 10 more interesting facts about RuneScape. Number 10. Put into the game specifically for Iron Man accounts that can't use banks, but available amongst all players is the ability to unnote items without even going into your bank. Just use your noted item or items on a bank booth, and you will be given the unnoted version of whatever noted items you used on the booth. Number 9. In issue 26 of Post Bag from the Hedge, a player asked the fairy Chaldar how she became a Slayer Master even though she is quite small. Her reply was, Size matters not. Look at me. Judge me by my size do you? Hmm? Hmm. And well you should not, for my ally is this battle axe, and a powerful ally it is. Replace the word battle axe in this quote with the force, and you'll have the exact same speech Yoda the Jedi Master spoke about in Star Wars. Number 8. Back in RuneScape Classic, you literally could only chop regular trees at one point in time, and they would give you only 25 experience points each time you chopped one. What made this even worse is that every now and again you would use your axe on the tree and accidentally miss it too. Number 7. Another fact making RuneScape Classic even harder is that when you're fire making, you literally have to drop the logs first and then use your tinderbox on them while they're on the ground to be able to actually light the fire and get the experience points. Imagine if we still had to do that today. Number 6. When purchasing 4 candles from any candle seller in RuneScape 3, you will actually receive a fork handle in your inventory. The reason for this is because 4 candle and fork handle sound very similar. Number 5. So much has changed throughout the years of RuneScape's 15 years of existing, but one thing that has never changed was the X that pops up every time you click on anything in the game. It's nice to know that at least some things haven't ever changed about this game. Number 4. There are literally over 50 plus keys in RuneScape named Key and A Key. All of them have the same examine information, and the only way to ever be able to tell which key is which is by re-exploring everything you've ever done in the game and using every single key on every single lock in RuneScape all over again. Number 3. In RuneScape Classic, at one point in time, there was no deposit X or withdraw X when banking, or doing anything for that matter. Literally, if you wanted to get 100k out of your bank to buy something, you would actually have to do what you can see me doing in the video now. That really sucks. Number 2. At one point in time, during a very brief period, stats were actually colored orange in RuneScape. Jagex was going to make them orange from here on out, but a lot of colorblind players couldn't see squat on their stat menus because of this, so they eventually reverted the stat numbers back to yellow. Thank God. Number 1. Behind the anvil area in Yanil, you'll see a tree there in old school RuneScape, but in RuneScape 3 behind this location, you'll actually see a dead tree. Mod Timbo removed the healthy tree a long time ago, and never put anything else in its place, and for some reason players noticed it immediately, and an outcry was unleashed for saving that one specific tree. A dead tree was later put back in its place, and when you chop it down, you'll get a message that says, Timbo! You know, sort of like timber, whenever, you know, something big falls. That's it for this countdown, and if you know what I should be counting down next, post it in the comments and let's make it happen. Thanks for all the continued support guys, you're all awesome and I will talk to you guys later.